everyone, it's Susie, and I have got some uh, fun little journals I've made. I was just kind of um, playing around uh, this last week, and I just made little some little journals. Sometimes you just want to make little things, and, and so I just kind of had fun uh, playing around with some little journals. Um, this here was just a little card that got gifted to me. Uh, from someone over at Sophie's Notes, and so I made a little journal out of just a vintage uh, card. And um, anyway, so I've just I've just had a little bit of fun. These are made with those um, Hearth and Hand little uh, chemistry flashcards that are from Chip and Joanna Gaines from Target. Uh, these little cards were gifted to me by another lady over at Sophie's Notes, so I've used some of them. And then I've got the Alice in Wonderland. Uh, this is from Stamperia or Stamperia, whichever way you want to say it. Um, I've heard it actually said both ways, so I'm just going to call it Stamperia. And uh, here is another little, I've just made two of them. So um, a little bit on an Etsy update while I'm thinking about it, ladies. Um, I do have some more hearts in the shop now. So they're coming in the barely pink, the white, the cream, and the ecru. So I've got a little restock on those. And then also I had a couple of new things I wanted to show you. Uh, and an update on the envelopes. Um, Sharon is working on the envelopes. And she has kind of designed the pattern a little different, a little cuter actually, than these. These were just kind of like a prototype while she was just trying to work out her pattern. And she is going to make some for the shop, so yay! That'll be fun. I uh, I don't know if you watched the video, and I've used a lot of these in these little books here. But I ordered some of these little Klasiki, um receipts and guest checks. These are just some little guest checks. This is like a little planner. Um, uh, a little planner page. But I uh, have put together a little set of 10, <coughs> excuse me, I'm still battling a little bit of a cold, um, a set of 10 of these little um, receipts, and um, they are really fun to work with. But I've got a set of, it's a set of 11, but there's 10 little receipts and then I've added one of these little um, sticky labels here. This is just a sticky label. The back peels off. Um, it's just a little, a little sticky label here. And uh, so anyway, I've just kind of made a little bundle uh, of those to put in the shop because I, I thought you gals might like some of that. That's kind of fun. And then I did coffee dye some um, these little guest checks. Now these are the flimsy ones. They're not the thick ones. These are really good for using as a journal page or as a flip because they're nice and, and um, workable. And they still have the perforation at the top, you know, if you wanted to tear it apart. But I have coffee stained some of those, and I actually put some coffee stained ones in the um, Etsy shop. So anyway, just a little, just a little um, update there for you on some of the things that I've put in the uh, Etsy shop. And I have some brand new flashcards, some vintage flashcards. I've got some that are the 6x6 six six size that I purchased. And I'm going to be making another flashcard journal. But I wanted to show you, these are almost 6x6. Six six. How fun. I've copy dyed these. But um, I've got some of those in the shop now too. Uh, those are going to be super fun to play with. I can't wait to start that journal. But uh, anyway... That's just a little update on, on some things that I've got new in the shop. So, um, I think I'm going to just start with the little, these little um, booklets here. I've just coffee dyed some of, uh, sorry, silk is what I've done on these just to kind of tie it shut. Now, these are just like 4 by 6 in size. Yeah, yeah, 4 by 6 in size. And they are just so fun. I'm telling you, I've had a, I had a fantastic time. This is my favorite thing to do is just kind of like a messy collage thing. And you all know that I bought this little stapler here from, uh, I told you the story about that and the staples at uh, Tuesday morning. And of course, Tim Holtz, and I may invest in the Tim Holtz. I had such a fun time 
Um, that little stapler there, the staples aren't very deep, so you can't really staple a lot, especially if you're wanting to staple some, uh, uh, like, uh, your cloth, you know, to the, to the page. It's very thick. Those are not a very deep, uh, uh, staple. But I did notice that the Tiny Attacher by Tim Holtz has a little bit deeper staple, and it's still tiny, and I may be getting one of those, I think. But uh, this is my little my little journal now. All I did was coffee stain the, um, the flashcards. I didn't put anything on the cover because these are perfect if you're going on a one-time event or if you just want something to carry in your purse. So I left the covers without anything on them so that nothing is going to come off. Um, but what I have done is I added a altered envelope and, um, I have put it to the page and I don't know if you can see this. I actually adhered it to the page and then the book itself is actually just, um, what I have done is just glued the, the pages just like a book would be. Now, I did reinforce the, the paper, though. It does have um, uh, some, I can't remember what I put on the other side of it. Um, I think it's just some, um, some tape, uh, like your surgical tape, I think is what I did there. And uh, anyway, so I altered the envelopes, and I made them identical front and back. So they're both, they're both matching here, okay? And then I have added just a piece of... You know, just a piece of journaling paper. Now, this is just for journaling, you know, and like I said, a one-time event or something like that is what it's really made for. I added just some little Tor um, dictionary page. Everything is stapled. I've added a little piece there in the center, and like I said, everything is stapled. This is actually, here's the story on the stamp Stamperia paper. Um, I ordered some from uh, Cherry on Top, and of course it's it has to be a um, pre-order. So I pre-order it, and um, I don't know, that's been three weeks ago or something, maybe more. And I haven't received it yet. I mean, it was supposed to ship, you know, like late February, so we're in late February, so it ought to be shipping any time. But I ordered from Poland, and I can't remember the shop name. I ordered it from Poland, and I've already got it. It was not on pre-order, since the paper comes from that end anyway. So I will have more when I get my mine ordered, uh, when it finally comes in from Cherry on Top. So, But these stamps are what came in. These are Polish stamps here, and I tore them off, and I've just used them in this book. So these are actually from Poland, these little uh, uh, stamps there. And then I've got some vintage graph paper. Here's some of those receipts. Now, I have coffee dyed every one of those, and I love these. I absolutely love them. And then here is one of the little labels that I've used, and I've just kind of stuck it on the sheet, and I actually rolled it around to the back side. But uh, there's one of those little labels that I put in that little bundle. Here is just a uh, repair tag, and of course I have those in the shop, and some washi tape. And then this is just one of those little excise tacks. Um, papers that I have, the little vintage uh, papers that I have in the shop. I decided to use one of those. It could actually be used as a little pocket because if you wanted to slip something in there, it is open to use as a pocket. Here's the other part of the repair tag. This is the bottom stub there. And then I just have some of these oversized merchant's tags, which I have these in the shop as well. And uh, I've just put them in the in the pocket there. Here's another one of the little guest checks from the Klasiki. My vintage graph paper. This here is just some... I actually got this at Hobby Lobby. It's like measuring tape uh, ribbon. And then here are some more of the Polish... Um, 
stamps there that came off my package when I got my Alice in Wonderland in. And then this here I have just added another little another little journaling uh, paper in. So, you know, not real big, guys. Um, not real bulky, but just fun. Just fun. So anyway, this is, and in the shop, they just are listed by the cover, how the cover looks. That's how they're they're uh, listed. So, and then here is this one. And it is the same way. I've got this little girl here. And all my images, of course, are from Pinterest. And then the back is the exact same way. I've just, like I said, I just mimicked the front and the back on the envelopes. Um, I actually have some, and I don't have them listed yet because I have to take my photos a little different. But I have some of these old merchant uh, receipts. And I want to show you one while I'm right here. <laughs> I don't have anything just right sitting beside me, but um, I'm going to have these listed. And this is what I used. I got these at an antique shop uh, that's not very far from me. And um, they're Cowan's uh, General Merchandise, and they were in Richland, Missouri. But this has like a little tissue paper, a little tissue paper piece, which I'm sure was for the carbon. I just don't know how it worked exactly. Of course, it had its carbon sheet as well. But um, it has, of course, the red one, and then it has this little tissue I mean, just really fine tissue. So anyway, that's what I used back here was that little tissue piece. I thought that was really fun. But I'm going to have those in the shop. I just don't have them listed yet. Um, of course, my, uh, my uh, dictionary page. Here's one of those little um, receipts. And my graphic, uh, I mean my uh, vintage graph paper. Here's a little tour piece with a little collage on it. Did a, just a little piece there. Another little stapled on piece. Little collage there. And I, I did this in every one of them. I sewed a piece of the, um, that little fabric, uh, I mean a ribbon, ruler ribbon. Here is just a little, I wanted to reuse a little tag that I got that was wrapped around something uh, that I had purchased there with the seam binding. And so I put it in there. Here's some more of that little tissue part of that um, receipt, that Cowan's receipt. Um, here is just a little, a little uh, checklist I've added there. Here's part of that vintage receipt and I think I've just glued it yeah it's completely just glued down and then here is uh, that vintage graph paper a little collage another piece just stapled down and then the back and of course I have the I have this in the front and the back just a piece of uh, graph paper with a little bit of that ribbon ruler on it and then a little collage there on the back. But I put the same thing here as I did there. So anyway, that is um, the next little uh, journal. And then here is the other next uh, little journal here. And uh, oh, that sorry silk just wants to fray. And this here is another little, this is actually the first one I did, uh, and I just loved it. Um, this is a Pinterest image here. It says, if ever there comes a day when we can't be together, keep me in your heart. I'll stay there forever. And I thought that was really cute. And then I've got another journaling page right there. This has got a little bit of that sticker, and I think I covered it up mostly. Um, one of those little labels. And then here's a little checklist. And um, I've just used some browns. Um, here's a little um, piece of that washi. I got that from AliExpress, that little washi sticker sheets. 
some more collage with the washi tape. Here's another little little uh, washi sticker sheet there I've put on and sewed around it. Here is another um, just reused a little tag I got from uh, from uh, an order I had placed. She has some really cute tags that came on my stuff. And then here is just a little bit of that um, excise, vintage excise tax papers that I have in the shop. And then here's just another little collage. I ordered this. Oh, where did I order this? Um, I think I ordered this from those little cute things, cute things from Japan. I'm pretty sure I, that's why I ordered that. It's really pretty. I don't have the little thing right in front of me or I'd show it to you. Um, and more of that washi sticker sheet. I'm just collaged with it. There's the little um, repair tag stub there. And then here is the back, same way, just kind of mimicked it and added a little collage and then another little piece of journaling paper there. So there are my little flashcard journals. Those are just super fun. This is my little vintage um, my little vintage card, greeting card. This is a little bit of cheer. Um, and the back of it said, just a little greeting sent to your address filled with sunny wishes for your happiness. And I just thought it was fun. I just actually sewed the signature in with my machine and then I actually glued the the sorry silk to kind of reinforce that. So it has a little bit of glitter on the card. And this is just another fun little one-time event maybe. Um, a journal. I've got some more of those extra large merchants tags there. And I've just, you know, sewed. And I did use the blue stitching in this. There's a piece of that guest check. Here's a little piece of the um, checklist there. And another guest check there. This is the flimsy pink ones. I just thought those were so fun coffee dyed and just kind of used as a flip even. Here's another little lace, uh, crochet lace pocket. And I've just used some fancy the decorative stitching there. This is a really pretty blue blue thread that I've used. And uh, here's some more. I've just kind of put them together we could journal and then there's there's that but anyway it's just a cute and as you can see they're not really very big they're just cute just cute little journals okay now for the um for my Alice in Wonderland <coughs> excuse me now Beth Wallen had a, a video out where she had watched somebody else uh, make an envelope journal and she made one and she even did a tutorial well my envelopes have the I don't know what you want to call that have the flap and not the not the straight across and I think the straight across would have worked better but anyway I didn't even end up making mine like she did for the simple fact that I didn't have those envelopes and I don't know I just kind of went my own way so I've got two different two different uh, types here of these so the way I did my envelopes but on the front I used some of that um, little trim with some vintage buttons I just added a little bit of canvas just to give it a little something different this paper is absolutely gorgeous I absolutely love it um, here is the envelopes let me move this out of the way they're kind of getting in my way there um, as you can see, these are the ones that I had with the flap. So they just didn't work as well, I didn't think, as if I had used the others. I've kind of roughed up the edges for an aged, tattered look on that. And it sets in there. I just added some uh, decorative stitching with the sari silk. Now, my sari silk, I believe this is... Um, I'm thinking this is salmon is what I what I bought 
uh, and I got it from uh, Victorian Gypsy Girl on Etsy. I bought that, I don't know, a year or two ago, so I've had it a long time. Um, here is a little, uh, little pretty floral bag. These are some little, I have some of these. They're not in the shop yet, but they will be. They're just as cute as they can be. They're like a three by two or a something. They are so fun. Uh, they're about a two and a fourth by three and a half. About a photo, about your photo size. Uh, wallet photo size there and those are super fun uh, like I said though I don't have them in the shop yet uh, it takes a little while to photograph everything and get it all ready and I just haven't done that yet um, little flip here and then here is just an envelope I didn't even use a paper clip I've just put it over the side it's got a little journaling a little journaling paper in it just some coffee tied uh, graph paper and then one of the little cards and I've just roughed up the edges to give it the little tattered look there and like I said I didn't even pin it in I've just folded it over um, this here is a really fun bag I actually ordered this from um, uh, from Veraluska in Finland and they are I believe these are Klasiki bags here too if I remember right I'm not sure I think they are and uh, anyway, here is just a long piece to journal on. Instead of folding the bag in half normally like you would, I did it long ways. Just because the book was long. So, and it is the size of a number 10 envelope, the length of it is. So, and uh, anyway, just fine. Here's the back of that little envelope. This is a vintage doily that's just beautiful. It's got some beautiful uh, flowers and things in it. That's a vintage doily. Use some, uh, some like a glassine um, graph paper here. I also got it from Veraluskas. And then this is a pocket. I just added a little, a little piece of journaling paper there. And it just sets in the pocket. And then here is the other half of that little floral bag. And I've got just a little, very, very small booklet here. That sets in there. There is the center of the signature. This is just a little tuck with a little piece of journaling paper. And this is some of those little cards from the collection that come in the in the paper collection. And then here is another little booklet. And it is just folded with a little, a little collage on it. Here's another little envelope with another teapot on it. It's got another little piece of a uh, little folded uh, graph paper there and it is just slid on the thing it's not tack I mean it's not uh, paper clipped on That's the other half of that here is the other half of this bag and I like this bag because it had the cards on it like the paper collection and then here is the little uh, journaling paper and it just slides in there. And then here is another one of the little just journaling papers there. Just sits in the pocket. A little collage there stapled on. And then another piece of the glassine floral bag here. And uh, there's another one of those little, little cards. I just love those little flash cards. And these little bags here, mm, I ordered uh, these from, I cannot think, it was out of California. Uh, and I've got some coming in a 4x6 size that I had to order international. I can't remember who I ordered them from, though. And then uh, here is another little... 
another little card. I've roughed up the edges there, as you can see, and and uh, tattered it up a bit. And it sits right there. But anyway, this is my little uh, Wonderland is better when you are completely lost. And, of course, that's how it'll probably be titled um, in the Etsy shop. It'll probably just called Wonderland is better. So... And then here is this one, and it's made a little different. This here is also some sorry silk I got from Victorian Gypsy Girl. About the same time, I mean, I've ordered these. It's been a year or better uh, since I've ordered this. This, I believe, was caramel color, I believe is what that was. Um, just tied a little bow and got some vintage um, lace there that I've just cut off of a, off of a piece. And then here is the back with a little collage. Of course, I did reinforce the spine with some sorry silk. It says, would you like an adventure now, or shall we have tea first? <laughs> and this one here, I'll probably just call it Wonderland. And this one will be Wonderland is Better Journal. So that's probably how I'll title them. Now this here, oops, I forgot to put a little thing in there. I'll, I'll do that. I'll have to get a little... Uh, card and put in there because I didn't put one there either so I will have to do that and then here is just a little <coughs> excuse me a little place for journaling there and this one here the envelopes I did them different I have an envelope here and this is an envelope here and I actually just backed it to make it sturdy like the cover I wanted this to be like a pocket that you could put your pictures and whatnot in. And that may be why I didn't put one of the journaling cards in there. Maybe, I, I know I was thinking you could put your pictures or, or receipts here. Um, but I, I'll find a uh, journaling card to put in there. Same way here. And then this is another envelope, two envelopes here, and the journal on the inside. That's kind of how, how I went with this. And then, of course, here is another pocket for you to place your, you know, your things in, your receipts or photos or whatever it is you want. Here's some more of these little extra, extra large merchandise tags. Made a little uh, pocket here. Same way here, I've got some of that glassine graph paper. Here is Alice. And there's just a little bit of journaling paper. Here's another one of those vintage doilies. I just love those doilies. Uh, and here I just tabbed this with one of the little cards. Here is that bag only turned the other way this time. Instead of long ways, I've turned it. This is just some little journaling paper. And you can see it's been creased several times. And uh, it just sits in the pocket for you to journal on. Oops, didn't get it all in the in the bag. There we go. And then this is a little um, card from the collection, and I just put it on the put it on the. Uh, side of the page. Clipped it on with a little paper clip here. Here's the center of the signature and another little card used as a tab. You could also probably use it as a tuck spot if you wanted to. And then here, this here, you could use as a tuck spot if you wanted. But I have just stapled it on. Is what I've done. It's just one of the little pieces, cutouts from the collection. And here is the other half of that bag, and another, another little journal, journal space there for you. And another one of the cards for a tab. Other half of the doily. And then here is another journaling piece of paper there for you. And the other half of the graph glassine, which it does have tea and a teapot, so I thought that was kind of fitting. And then here is just a little card. 
clipped on. And that is this little journal. So this one here, like I said, was just a little different the way I, I did it, the way I put it together, but still fun. And like I said, it's probably just a one event, one time event little journal because it's not very thick. But anyway, guys, I hope that that was fun. I hope that you enjoyed that. Um, just busy making some little journals. Um, I am going to make another time card journal, though. I, or time card, flash card journal. I really enjoy that with the paper dolls. And um, hopefully then I'm going to move on to a bigger shabby chic uh, journal. I have something in mind. So anyway, guys, have a great um, day. And uh, stay crafty, my friends. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.